Support this podcast via our Patreon and get more writerly goodness. Visit patreon.com slash nanocast to join up. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Every Month. My name is J. Daniel Sawyer. I'm the author of some 20 books, 34 short stories, and numerous articles and other things, and I am your guide on this journey to use NaNoWriMo to level up to professional output levels. Welcome to Day 6. By now, you should have a fairly decent idea of the shape of your project. By that, I don't mean that you know where all the story beats are going to go, or exactly what's going to happen to your main character. I mean that you've got an idea of whether you're writing a mystery, or a science fiction piece, or a literary fiction piece, or a romance. By the way, if you're writing a romance, my hat's off to you. I've never been able to do it, and it is the best-selling genre in the world or a suspense piece, or a military novel, or a war novel, or any number of a hundred other kinds of stories. Having an idea of what kind of book you're writing gives you an implicit shape of the project. Having been consuming stories your whole life, you have an implicit understanding of the way that different stories play out. If you're writing a romance, you're not going to have an ending where everybody dies. That's not a romance, that's a tragedy. Romeo and Juliet is a romance when they get married, and it's a tragedy when they die, and it's a different play if you end it in Act 4 or Act 5. Now, if you're new to the novel business, you may find it tempting to fight this pattern. You're worried that you're riding along rails, that you're picking the low-hanging fruit, and that is a valid thing to worry about. But there is an equal and opposite error that you can fall into, and that error is failing to respect the shape your project naturally wants to take. If you're the kind of writer whose projects go off into left field in Act 3 naturally, it's okay to run with it, and later on in this podcast we'll get to an idea called cycling, which allows you to deal with that without completely shattering your flow. But if you're not that kind of writer, then you need to resist the urge to mix things up just because you're afraid of cliché. The fear of cliché is a creativity killer. The fact is that every story that can ever be told has already been told in terms of broad categories. There are six basic plots. Shakespeare used them all. He used them better than you. He used them better than you ever will, or than I ever will, or than most writers that ever lived will ever do again. He set the standard. So don't listen to that voice in your head that says, Oh my god, this is a knockoff of Star Wars. Oh my god, this is a knockoff of Romeo and Juliet. Don't listen at all. Just write the story for yourself and honor the shape that the story has already acquired in your mind. By all means, do things to keep it interesting for yourself. That's part of writing it for yourself. But don't get into that point where you're trying to wrench the novel off course so that you don't have to be another one of these writers who's writing Harry Potter for the 50th time. Let Harry Potter happen if Harry Potter is happening. Great painters learn their art by copying the old masters. Great composers learn the art by studying and riffing on great composers. Great concerto pianists learn the art by studying and listening to the techniques of other pianists. Early on in your career, you're going to copy people by accident. It's okay. Let it happen, and then, next time, try to do something a little different. But always honor the shape of the story that's in your head. If you don't, you're going to get to the far end of this work, and you're not going to have a story that feels like it works. Your brain knows what works. Listen to it. And I'll see you tomorrow. NaNoWriMo Every Month is written and presented by J. Daniel Sawyer and produced by Artistic Whispers Productions. Visit our website at NaNoWriMoEveryMonth.com and leave a tip in the tip jar to support this podcast. NaNoWriMo Every Month is copyright 2015 by J. Daniel Sawyer and Artistic Whispers Productions and released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License.